Hey, and welcome back to the Effortless Expansion Podcast. You know, when I sat down today to record this, I'm like, what do I want to talk about? And I decided I want to give you a life update because I haven't done one of these in a while and there's lots of life to update you on. First off, I want to say the best way to get to know me, to follow along, to know life updates is to follow me on Instagram at Effortlessly Jess. I share a lot. I'm going to share more here today too. So between Instagram, between getting on my limitless life list, which is my email list, I send, I don't spam you. <laughs> I send you one email a month, just what's going on in my life, letting you know what's happening in mm-hmm. my life as well as my business and ways we can work together, ways we can expand together, all those things. Those are the best ways to find life updates. And then of course here, as well, I'm going to share it with you guys today. So before we jump in, I want to tell you guys what I have going on in my world. The Unruly Mastermind is live. The women inside are incredible. So this is a really mastermind, meaning for women who feel the pull at any point in any time, if there's a space available, you're able to join us. I cap it out at six women. And the Unruly Mastermind is a space for women who are ready to do it differently, who are ready to shake it up, who are tired of following the rules that they've been told that they've been following for far too long that say they have to do it this way and not that way, that say they put them in a box that that they must succumb to the fear, that they have to play small. Women who are ready to shake it up and ready to step out of old ways of doing things into a new way, their way. And this is a collective mastermind, meaning all the women inside are incredible. And a lot of them have businesses and are incredible women that have done major magical things with their lives and are still calling in wanting to manifest more. And so we meet twice a month on Zoom for 75 minutes. And then we have a group Voxer where in the Voxer is a lot of where the magic happens where we come in, we share what's going on with our lives. We catapult forward. We propel propel ourselves forward in all the things that we desire and we hold each other. And in, in this group component, it's so beautiful and it's so special and I love every minute of it. And so if you feel a pull for that, certainly I would invite you to check out my website or send me a DM on Instagram and look more into unruly. Also, I have a few one-on-one coaching spaces left for the unknown, and this is where we can work together one-on-one. This is a space where we come together for six or 12 months and really take you from where you want to go to from where you are now to where you desire to be, right? The space in between is called the unknown. And oftentimes when we're in that space, we're impatient, we're frustrated, we're controlling, we're pushing, we're forcing all the things that don't do us any, any, any good. And so together with me, I hold your hand. I would love to say that like the unknown is something that I've mastered. And actually I can see there's so much magic in the unknown and so many gifts inside the unknown. And when you can get to this point when you can shift your perspective and you can be in gratitude for this place and see all the magic that's coming to you more and more and more magic comes and time um, timelines are collapsed and the very thing you want happens so much quicker. So this is my magic. My mission, my passion is also inside the unknown. So I would invite you into that space as well. If you feel called again, feel free to go to my website or send me a DM on Instagram. All right. Without further ado, my phone, my phone is blowing up here. <clears throat> Let's get into it. <clears throat> I want to give you a little life update. So as I'm currently recording this, it is May 1st. It's gonna be May. <sighs> a little in sync for you guys. <laughs> And there have been some huge life changes that have been happening in my life and my family's lives. First off, my husband is no longer working for the health system he was working at. And that has like took us by a big surprise. And that means that there is a lot of room for expansion for us. And when this first came up, we were like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen here? What are we going to do? Because we built this home, the dream home that I'm living in right now. We built it for our children to be raised in. And my parents moved less than a mile down the road. So they would be close to us to help us raise our kids. And we have had just like the best magical experience here. And while we are on the like really front end of like, what are we going to do here and exploring other opportunities for Nick, it's really brought up a lot of expansion opportunities for us. Meaning, are we going to choose to stay here in this community and raise our families and live in this home that like, that was our intention when we built it. Right. Or are we going to choose to look elsewhere? And so we are currently exploring every single opportunity. We feel like at this point we want to, at this point we need to, right? Nick is anxious to get back to serving. And so that's what we're doing. And so that looks like if you're not following me on Instagram, I've been sharing a lot of behind the scenes. We've been traveling to lots of places and looking at different 
places to live and different places for Nick to work and what would that mean for our family and our kids going to school. And again, my parents moved less than a mile down the road from us. So what does that mean for them? Would they be willing to move too? and all the things? So there's been a lot of conversations that are happening in our home, a lot of really hard conversations and yet a lot of like really big, bold and brave conversations, which you guys know I'm here for. And within this, it's, you know, Nick and I asking each other, what do you want? What do you want? What do you see for our family? Like, you know, we've always talked about my heart has always been in Florida, right? I've always said I wanted to, I wanted to live there. I want to have a home there. And we do. And so now it's okay. Well, I don't know. Is Florida still the place? Should it be somewhere else? Should we stay here in Michigan? Should it, will there be any opportunities locally so we can actually stay here? We're investigating all of those. And my point in sharing this story for you is this is, this, this entire thing has been such a lesson of trusting and surrendering that no matter what, no matter how it looks right now, that we're going to be okay. And I'm sharing this with you. It's really personal because I know that it is my magic, my mission, my passion, my purpose to be an example for you and to go first and lead you in this. And so by this happening, this is the ultimate test of faith, trust, and surrender for me. And listen, I'm sitting here in front of you right now, and I, you're like, oh, wow, she's handling it so good, right? It, it ain't always been like this, <laughs> okay? There were some tough moments, and there will still be, of course. But remember what I always say in the law of polarity, there's a down. There is a down, down, down. But after the down is a really high, high. And so Nick and I know we're like, oh, there's something so freaking good coming for us right here. And we cannot wait to see it. And we're really excited about that. And so within this, I'm sharing this with you because I want to be the example to say like when shit gets hard, like what choice do you have? You can push, you can force, you control, you can cry, you can do all those things. And you are here to have a human experience. Of course you can do all those things. But can you also lean deeper into your trust, into your surrender, into your faith? Yes, you can. I'm here to tell you you can. Because what you think might break you, newsflash, it doesn't. And the fact that like I can say that to you now and wholeheartedly feel that is so freaking incredible. And, and I've been at this point many times in my life. This is the first time that I've been at a point like this where I'm conscious enough, right? Where I'm actually doing this work to be like, to, where I can see my actions, my beliefs, like really coming out. You know, we went through a huge purge throughout this whole thing when this was happening. There were many other things that were also happening in our life that were teaching us to let go, let go and trust and surrender. And, you know, I preach to you guys all the time. The universe has my back. The universe has my back. And this was a big test. Like, oh, does the universe really have my back? And is this really happening for my highest good? And the truth is. I have no choice but to believe that because when I look back on all the other shit we've been through and all the other things that have come up during this time and other times, I know that I have all the evidence in the world to say that I've been supportive because anything else that has come up, it's always worked out for me, always in all ways. And I'm so grateful for that. And so I want to talk to you now, if you're walking through something hard, if you're walking through something big and you never saw it coming and you're having to have hard conversations. You're having to show up for yourself and you're like trying to catch your breath and you feel like it's so heavy on your shoulders. I hear you. I feel you. I see you. This is one of the biggest reasons why I'm so grateful. I'm in two masterminds at, currently at this time and I am so seen. I'm so held. I'm so safe. I'm working with my coach Echo and I'm working with my coach Ruthie and they are like just holding me. And so are my mastermind sisters in through this. And it has been such a blessing. And so I also want to talk to you about, you know, this is the power of mentorship. This is the power of coaching. The fact that like when you have a safe space to go into and share it and just be like a blubbering mess and to be held and seen and just know that it's safe for you, there's so much power in that. And I know that what we are, that what we have walked through and are continuing to walk through is such a big power portal for us. Meaning on the other side of this, can you think about the things I'm going to be able to lead women through on the other side of this, since I've walked through this. I kept telling myself this also, like when things get hard, it's how do I want to write this story when this is all said and done? Cause it's, it's some of it said and done. There will be more that will be said and done as the weeks unfold here. But when this is all said and done, I, Nick and I kept saying, how we want to, how do we want to write the story? Like when this is over and we want to like look back and years from now, tell our kids like, oh my goodness, cause they have no idea. This is what happened and this is how we handled it. And do, how do we want to look back on the memories? Do we want to remember seeing ourselves as like in deep trust and surrender and faith, like it's going to work out for us? Or do we want to see ourselves as like freaking the F out, you know? 
And so we continue to write the story. And I want to remind you that you have the power to write your own story too. You have the power to write your own story too. And so throughout all this, the other life updates I want to share with you. So I'll keep you updated on where we're going, what we're doing, where we're staying, what we're, all the things. It's really exciting to think about what could be, right? And we know we trust so deeply in the universe and know that we're so divinely supported. And we know that the experience that Nick had where he was at previously was really great. And that time, time was over. And so we're so honored for the time that we had. And we're so honored for the time that he's going to have at his next dream job. And so we'll see where that leads us. And in the meantime, it allows us the freedom and flexibility to share with you all our journey, to dig deeper into what we actually want in our limitless lives, to walk the talk, right? Walk the talk. The other updates I want to tell you is our boys are thriving. They're getting ready for summer break, which I am so excited about. Throughout this time, Nick and I have developed this deeper power and trust and connection in ourselves, in our relationship that we didn't know existed. I mentioned this someone when I taught an effortless union, if you join me for that, which was so amazing, by the way, you can totally catch the replays. You can DM me. That will be like a pre-recorded that lives on forever. And I will launch it once a year again, Nick and I both will, but it's so good. We also, our Florida home is doing so freaking well. We've hosted some incredible people in there, some incredible families. And we're just, we're so grateful for that. And my business, you guys, you know, as I continue to rise, as I continue to do the work, as I continue to show up and be vulnerable AF with you, as I'm doing in this episode, it relates, it resonates with so many incredible women who are also walking through things. And that's the point. And that's why the universe has given me this platform, has given me this mission to show up and share all the good and the bad and the ugly and the in-between and to show up for you as a power portal, as a calibration tool as a vortex for you to tap into at any moment, at any time to know that like you are powerful beyond your wildest dreams. And it's time you start acting like it. And it's time you start trusting that everything is happening for you for happening for you and for your highest good. And when you can get there and listen, I know it's a journey, but when you can get there, there's such a gift for you on the other side of that, such a gift for you on the other side of that. You know, I said to my mastermind sister last week, I'm like, man, you know, the word unshakable, I've said this, I think before my girlfriend, my best friend, Krista, we've been best friends since we were five. She asked me a couple of years ago, like what I wanted out of this, out of this ascension journey, right? Like when I became really awake in my spiritual journey, what do you want out of this? And I said, I want to be unshakable. She was like, wow, that took my breath away. And what I meant by that at that time was like, I want to be so connected here that like, no matter what is happening outside of me, that like, I'm like, you can't touch me. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Can't touch this. <laughs> and throughout this experience, throughout these last, like, so let's see, in February, my grandfather was diagnosed with the big C and that was really hard. And then we had this happen with, you know, the uncertainty or where are we staying? We're leaving. <clears throat> there were some things with our Florida home. There were some things, you know, with the kids in school and just behavioral things. And there were some things with, you know, what do we want to do next? All of that. And there have definitely been moments of what the fuck is happening and letting it affect my vibration. But there have also been so many moments of like, oh, okay, universe, really? Aha, can't shake me there. For example, Nick was supposed to return last night on an eight day golf trip and I have done eight days of solo parenting. Yep. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. My parents were here for some of it. So they of course helped, but he called last night and there was a maintenance issue on their plane and they couldn't get out. They canceled their flight. So the first flight out he could get on was at 525 California time, which means he doesn't land until one our time here. And then by the time he drives home. So it's pretty much today too, not all day today, but a good portion of it. And I was so unshakable. I was like, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. But like, he's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know you could wait for me to be there. I know you want to break, like all the things. And I'm like, it's fine. Unshakable, unfucking shakable. And this is why I do the work. And this is why I want you to do the work. This is why I want you to show up and be so committed to your growth that no matter what, no matter what, if the world is collapsing around you, you can be like, what you got? What you got? You can allow yourself to feel the feelings, but also be like, okay, whatever. And I'm so grateful for that because the old me would have freaked the fuck out. Oh my God, I'm so mad at, like, how could this happen? Like, I knew you shouldn't have gone, like all the things, seriously, I would have gone off. 
There was nothing. He was like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's fine. It's not your fault. It's fine. I miss you. I wish you were here, but like, it's fine. Whatever. Got it. I got it. This is the power of doing the work. This is the power of mentorship. This is the power of healing what needs to be healed and showing up for you and your biggest, boldest, bravest self. And it is my honor to leave women back home to their power, their knowing, their truth, their intuition, this innate confidence that no matter what's happening, guess what? I'm good here. I'm safe here. I'm safe in my body. And to also know that I get to have anything and everything I want via manifestation, via using the effortless laws of manifestation without adding one more thing to their to-do list. This is my magic, my mission, my passion, my purpose. And this is my life update. <laughs> I hope you loved it. There'll be more coming. I love you. And I'll see you in the next episode.